Hey guys, welcome back to Time Weekly. I'm your host, Kimberly Cruz. This week we'll be highlighting some fresh entertainment and CSCF news. Let's get started. The Oscars are going live. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences recently announced in a letter to this year's Oscar nominees that they will be going forward with this year's show as an in-person event. Hollywood's best will not be allowed to zoom in for acceptance speeches. The goal is to create a safe environment for everyone attending. Testing and other COVID-19 precautions will be required on location. The Academy is requesting that the celebs leave the PJs and sweatshirts at home and show up dressed to impress. What do you think, Titans? Is this a good or bad idea? Let me know in the comments. Hey Titans, are you a senior? Well, I've got some news for you. Provost Caroline Thompson just announced that Kelsey Fullerton is planning to hold in-person commencement ceremonies for classes of 2020 and 2021 this June. While there will not be any guests allowed, the ceremony will be live streamed for family and friends to watch from home. Additionally, CSUF will also hold virtual ceremonies for all students who choose not to walk. More information on how you can register for specific dates and times will be released in April during Grad Fest from April 12th to the 15th. Congratulations classes of 2020 and 2021! Woo! Do you have Bieber fever? Well, you'll love this news. Justin Bieber just released his new album, Justice. The 16-track album includes previously released singles such as Holy featuring Chance the Rapper, Lonely with Benny Blanco, and Anyone, all of which hit the top 40 on Billboard. Well, I'm not surprised. His new album also includes Peaches, which features Daniel Caesar and Unstable with Kid Leroy. Which was your favorite song from this album? Let me know in the comments. Sorry, she's not sorry. Demi Lovato is laying it all on the line in her newest YouTube documentary, Dancing with the Devil. The pop star released her first documentary, Simply Complicated, in 2017, which saw her open up about her mental health, body image, and addiction struggles. Shortly after the release, Lovato relapsed and suffered a near-fatal overdose, from which Lovato reveals that she suffered three strokes and a heart attack. Through her honest and complicated story, Lovato hopes to normalize mental health and addiction discussions. It's been a long journey, but Lovato is finally confident in her true self. We stand you, queen! Do you love Wonder Woman? Well, get ready for more girl power! DC Films has hired Emerald Fennell, Oscar-nominated writer and director of Promising Young Woman, to write the script for Zatanna, with J.J. Abrams producing. After the success of her highly acclaimed directorial debut, Fennell is turning her sights to create another depiction of a woman to be reckoned with. Zatanna Zatara is a magician by trade and one of DC Comics' most powerful sorcerers. The role of Zatanna has not yet been casted, but loyal fans have been posting all over social media their favorites to put on the magician's hat. The upcoming film will be the DC Extended Universe's second female-led film, and we are here for it! Well guys, that's all the time we have for today. Tune in next time for some more fresh entertainment and CSCF news. I'm Kimberly Cruz and I'll catch you guys next week.